Do you ever just wanna... You know? Hello all and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Junk Tour! And no, I did not forget about the portal while I was doing the world tour, but it exists, don't worry. I like the portal build too, I just completely forgot. Not like I passed it three times. Anyway, I've got some plans for today, but um, I, I have to change a few things because guess what? Uh, my body has decided to pick up a new hobby. On a bi-weekly basis, it just catches whatever bug is going around my workplace or family situation or whatever, so I'm sick again. And on top of that, I'm feeling like really burnt out because of how busy I was last week, and I don't really feel like building anything. The thought of it kind of makes me want to cry. So now that I've shown you just how much I love this world, World and how much time and effort I put into it, I'm gonna leave it because I don't want to look at it today. So guess what? We're gonna go camping in Minecraft. In all honesty though, I realized I hadn't done anything fun in Minecraft in a while and I I've been really productive. I've been building stuff for like five or so episodes straight, which is not normal for me. I'm not used to being that productive in a video game. It, it's, it's, it's exhausting. In order to capitalize on the rule that I made for this world, one of those very important rules was that I was going to have fun. I am gonna pack up as much as I can and travel off into the distance somewhere preferably with grass because i am so sick of looking at sand right now how do you pack for a trip in minecraft i think shulker boxes might help so the plan here is to fly hopefully to where we found the spruce biome ideally i would love to find a cherry blossom biome i'm not a huge fan of cherry wood but it's the only wood type that i don't have right now other than crimson wood but i i dislike crimson wood even more than cherry wood so anywhere with grass would be amazing i miss grass so much the desert's really interesting i think it was a great place to like plop all this random junk down and it makes it stand out depending on the build palette but i i am so jealous of people who get to build <laughs> in normal biomes right now for one thing it's just really bright for another there's no trees i can't just bone meal stuff to terraform and terraforming in general is just a nightmare because they're all gravity blocks i'm not bitter you're bitter why do i have so many water buckets oh there's a wandering trader outside yeah i hear you what do you want Oh, cyan dye. I think I'm good, but you're, you're speaking my language with the cyan dye and the dandelions. You you really know me well. Oh, also, before I forget, I re-enchanted my silk touch pickaxe, and this was on the first try. It is so much better. Oh, I haven't dyed any of these. I should dye these. Do I, do I just do it like that? Oh, nice. That's so much better than the weird purple color. There we go. That's my suitcase. Where'd you wander off to? Are you in my house? You know what? That's typical. Why do I have sea pickles in my under chest? So just like real vacations, I have packed my suitcases way too full. And just like all vacations, if I'm missing anything, I will not know until I get there. I got all my tools, got my water, got my snacks, got my fuel, I guess. Excuse you. This is why I need to leave, because of nosy neighbors like you. That sounded pointed. I'm sorry. It's the cold meds. Okay, I can't leave while you're in my house. Can you please come out? Go away. No, that's a trap door. The open door is over there. Thank you. I'll show you the door. Oh, I didn't say goodbye to my pets. Bye, disestablishmentarianism. Bye, hippopotamonstrosis, crepidaliophobia. I'll miss you both. You're both in charge. You can fight for dominance, I guess. You can go. Okay, I had to go back a ways in my <laughs> my old episodes to find the footage, but when we came back from the nether, I passed a few colder biomes. So that's where I want to go, as chances are there will be a cherry blossom nearby. The problem is, it is about 6,000 blocks away, over 6,000 blocks away. What is that? It is time to put our wings to the test and start flying multiple thousands of blocks away. Off we go. Gosh, I hope I have everything. All right. Are we there yet? Okay, there's classic Minecraft for us. That's a good sign. Hello, Savannah. I'm flying over you. That concludes our in-flight entertainment. <gasps> Spruce. Okay, good sign. Ooh, this place looks nice. Oh, and there's a meadow biome. Oh, and there's a lava pool. That looks like invitation to Deathland. Cherry Blossom! Found it! There! Let's go there! Oh, it's 
it's so pretty. Okay, I gotta land this. Please don't die. I'm very far away. There's snow, there's grass, there's cherry blossoms. Oh, this might just be perfect. Okay, let's look around a bit. Oh, it's been so long since I've been in a cherry blossom biome. Look at the grass. <laughs> there's grass here. Hi. Oh, I don't even have to kill you because I already have a bed. This is amazing. I'm gonna be honest, I used to think the cherry blossom forests were completely overrated because I lived in one, but I didn't. I don't live in one now, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, ten out of ten. Look at those views. We're over a meadow biome of all things. It is so pretty, and there's a pillager outpost. Oh, that's just my luck. Cool. No, Izzy, we're not going caving. If you die here, you lose everything. Nope, that's not okay. Oh, speaking of which, I've made a little rule for myself. These are going in my ender chest right now. Because if I die, those are gone. For the sheer fact that it is my only pair. I was very smart when I went to the end and decided to just quit as soon as I got one pair of elytra and did not get myself an extra one. <gasps> cherry tree has snow on it. Oh, that's so weirdly pretty. Hi, buddies. Well, I need to focus now. Where do I want to set up camp? I want to be kind of in the middle of the cherry trees, I think. Let's go. Ow. I might just have to sleep before I even set up my tent. Yep, I definitely am. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to put my bed anywhere. Can I put this? Oh, sure. That works. <laughs> yep. Perfect. So apparently cherry blossom blossoms are not at all like grass. You can't just smush it. Oh, I forget it's like a carpet block. So that's that just makes sense. I do want to set up a tent just as kind of like proof that I've been here. Even if I don't build anything else, I think it'd be fun to have a tent up here. Not in the cave though. Oh, this takes me back. Back to the days when I wasn't camping in a desert. You know what? Right here might be good. This is kind of on the way to everywhere. Perfect. Let's get my tent making stuff out. I've never built a tent in Minecraft. I'm gonna have so much pink dye after this. Ow. to minecraft that's not too bad it is very functional we've got a chest here and a nightstand and some furnaces i think that will do us quite nicely for our stay here for now i think i'm gonna go collect some saplings from around here <gasps> a sapling no it's just a stick nah. may i have a sapling um i have to go to bed soon okay i gotta go to bed ow sapling? <gasps> yes we got one. Oh, it's so pretty let's go get a few more I forget they sound different. I don't know what I'd build with this. I honestly have zero plans. I just knew that I wanted to try to get all the wood types other than crimson. I don't care for crimson. Plus these just look gorgeous in flower pots. Okay, well, we've got some cherry wood. We got some petals and some saplings. We could just go home now if we wanted, but I don't want. You know what? We flew all the way here. I've already set up a tent. I think we need to explore a little bit. Obviously not the caves. I don't care for the caves and the caves don't care for me. And it's a mutual understanding of we don't like each other. So I think I'm just going to wander around here. Where should we go? This is so fun. Oh, that's powdered snow. Oh, that's powdered snow. <laughs> okay, okay. I know that can become dangerous if you do that too much. Maybe I should take some of this. Oh, I didn't realize they have the slightly different texture than normal snow. Oh, that's so cool. And then you can just like plop it down anywhere, right? <gasps> so fun oh that's kind of creepy though okay i've watched the life series i know what this can do that's exciting let's go around another way what else does this world have to offer oh maybe we could go check out the village over there it's kind of an interesting concept well, minecraft is such a vast world but we always we tend to limit ourselves to just the area around our bases and i i am just as much um uh, words brown sheep oh my gosh <laughs> so easily impressed hi you're such a pretty color what was i even saying and i am just as much at fault of this as everyone else tending to stay in my area and not go anywhere else but i think that's something we could change a lot more that's kind of what this was for just you know break out of the mold a little bit try something different hi what's up guys i don't know what i'm hoping to find here i have pretty much everything i need i think i'm still in survival instinct mode 
this is cool. I've never seen structure like this before. Maybe that can be the reason. Maybe I'm just looking at the structures. It is kind of fun, though, to see all the different ways that these can spawn in. That's a deep well. Oh, hi, cat. Oh, you look like hippo. Look like in every village, there's always just this one house that's just up by itself. And I relate to that on a personal level. I think this would be me in a village like this. Should we go traipse through the snow? Oh, <gasps> there's goats. Wait, do you think I could get a horn from this? Hi. Um... I don't know how good the rates are for this. I don't think it's terribly common for them to try to headbutt you, right? Hello? You can do it? Oh! Ow! Oh, okay. So it's possible they do do it without prompt. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for that. Maybe I'll try to do this for a little bit. Whoa! Dude, you got some height there. Oh, here we go. Oh! I didn't move out of the way fast enough. Do another taker? Got another taker? We do. Oh! How do you do this? Do I have to jump out of the way? I think I gotta jump. Oh, they're so fast, though. Oh, dude, I didn't see you coming! That's not fair! Hi, you wanna try again? Oh, I gotta keep my head on a swivel now. They could be coming at any angle. Well, except from behind me, because I hopefully I'm blocked off! Jeez, hi! Never mind, you proved me wrong! You can, in fact, come at me from behind. Oh, okay. Did it work? No! Ah, you got me again! Does it have to be stone? Or am I just bad at this? I think they're bored of me. Oh, powdered snow, powdered snow! Oh, okay, there's a lot of it here. Um... Okay. All right, there we go. We're out. Interesting thought, though. I do kind of want to see if I can get a horn from somewhere. Because I've never actually used one. Now, where do I live? This really does feel like exploring when I'm camping in real life. That's something I like to do when we go camping, is I'll just travel off away from our campsite and just get lost and kind of hope I find my way back. Ow. I've never actually gotten fully lost. It's still kind of a fun thing to do, to wander around aimlessly. I'm a very results-based person. I'm a very practical person. There we go. There's a wood for that. If something doesn't serve a function or doesn't give some kind of a result, I'm hungry again. I will usually just not do it. Wandering around and exploring, that's one thing I actually do like to do, which is kind of surprising for somebody of my particular mindset. Like, I won't go party with you, but if you want to go walk through a forest with no general destination, I am totally on board. Okay, I've discovered goats. What else is there to discover here? We'll see if we can get over these mountains here and see what's over there. Another quick tip if you're planning to explore, if you want to get the most out of it, I would highly recommend taking off your wings. It's a lot more fun if you're just walking around on foot. Ocean? Ocean. Oh, okay. Let's go look at this ocean. Is this different from my ocean? Probably, because it's probably a cold ocean. Mine is a warm ocean. There's probably no coral here. Hi, sheep. Oh, there's a black sheep! Hi! I relate to you on a personal level. What's that? Pumpkin patch. Okay. What's that? Island. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's your gorgeous face. So glad I didn't miss it. Ooh, look at that mountain. Wow. Oh, I kind of miss mountain biomes. I am loving the grass here. It is delivering. I miss it so much. Next season of Junk Drawer better be in a something this pretty. I feel like I'm properly frolicking for once. Oh, it's been so long since I properly frolicked. I kind of want to hike to the top of this mountain. It kind of looks like powdered snow territory, and I don't have leather. Those of you that don't know, yep, powdered uh, uh, leather boots keep you from doing that. <gasps> Emerald ore! Yes, this is my silk touch. Pixel Rift has ruined me. I can't actually mine that. I have to use silk touch. Oh, I guess I'm climbing the mountain, by the way. I didn't really consult with myself to make sure that was what I wanted to do, but we're doing it. I think there are goats up here. Oh, hello. You want to play a game? Ow. If I go back here, what will you do? Oh my gosh! It worked! <laughs> <laughs> of course it would be this one. <laughs> Considering I didn't think that was going to work at all, I'm going to take it. Thank you. Don't fall down. Pick it up pretty much ever. I did it. I did it. I'm on the top of the mountain. Oh, oh, here comes the cloud. Watch this. I'm about to enter another dimension. Here we go. Nom. I'm in a cloud. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> there it is! Welcome to the cloud dimension. <laughs> That's so cool! I'm not as tall as that one! Okay, I need to go to that one now. I mean, need is a very strong word. I want to go to that one. I have to go to that one. It is my destiny to go to that one. There are some stronger words. Ow. Ow. Oh, okay, we're in the cloud. That's disorienting. I didn't think this would be a problem. Oh, thank you. Okay, there we go. Whoop! Ah! Thanks for the reminder that I don't have feather falling. Let's try again. There we 
we go. Now we're on the peak. There goes the cloud. Just ate the top of that mountain. I love the way these clouds are shaped. It's so cool. Oh, I can see our house from here. Ah, oh, this was worth the whole camping trip right here, I think. Oh, and this, of course. <laughs> we throw some snowballs. Be a menace to society. Nice. Look at that sunset. Look at the moon rise. So pretty. Ah! Let's go back down. Oh, hey, dude. I'm sorry. Are you still embarrassed that I took one of your horns? Yeah, he seems a little bit salty about it. Woo! Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Wanna go again? Oh, yep, here we go. Ow! Okay, you won that time. All right, nice. Not a bit of powdered snow in sight. Great. That worked out well. Ow. Yeah, back we are at the tent. Hello, tent. Well, I think this has been a very successful trip. And there's really just one more thing that I want to do while we're here. <gasps> hey! Oh, it looks good in the rain. That is great to know. Anybody know any good campfire stories? You should tell me down in the comments. Your campfire stories. It'd be fun. I'm not good at storytelling off the top of my head. Okay, probably time to go sleep now before something explodes. Look at that. Wow. I'm glad we got to do this together. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I think it's time for us to get back home. And you know what? I can't... I know this isn't real life, but... Make sure to always put out your fires when you're going camping. Cannot in good conscience leave that burning. Well, this was a lot of fun. And we got some cherry wood out of it. It's in... It's in one of my suitcases. All right. I think we have everything that we came in with. Time to start flying home. Goodbye, tent. Goodbye, cherry trees. Except for you. Not goodbye you. You're coming with me. Back we go. Hey, clouds. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm home. Here we are. Hello, junk drawer. Whoosh. Hello, pets. I'm back. Oh, great. You're still here. I've got to get my stuff unpacked. I can't believe we got a horn. That's so fun. Oli, poli, oli. Oh, I should name you all, actually. Oh, thank you. Another picture book. You know what? I'm going to do that before I forget. All right, guys. You are now Oli. I cannot see your name at all. Oli, hi. And Oli. Uh, yours I actually can't see. There we go. Hi, Oli. All right. You obviously have no sense of personal space, but I have every sense of personal space, especially now that I'm sick. So since I'm too tired to come up with creative decisions, I think I'm just going to go diamond mining for no particular reason other than I just want to. We're just going to have a quiet evening in a big old hole in the ground. That sounded better in my head. <laughs> Let's go do some mining. Bunch of weird stuff going on. There's pumpkins everywhere. I really don't know what's going on in there. And then if we come down over here, I'm thinking we might be able to sneak a little tunnel down in underground so that we can get a little mining in because that's going to happen. Oh, look at this. Give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to get some stuff cleared out. We'll uh, we'll see what we can get going for the time being, and I'll be our bees. That was a pretty good trip to the mines. 38 diamonds out of that. That is a pretty good haul for 45 minutes, I think is how long I was down there. Not bad at all. It was very chill. Go put all this away. And then I think we're going to wrap up. Get that. We're up to 60 diamonds. And I think that is going to be it for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me on my little camping trip today. That was a lot of fun. Not the most productive episode, but it was chill and it was fun. And I feel a lot better. A little less burnt out, you know? So take this as a sign for you. If you're feeling burnt out in your Minecraft world, you're running out of ideas, you're just generally not having fun anymore, go travel somewhere far away from your base. Go take your wings, take your boat, take whatever transportation you have, if it's your legs, do it, and just go explore. Minecraft worlds are so much bigger than we give them credit for, and that is the whole point of the game, is to enjoy the whole world. Capitalize on that. Go have some fun. I definitely did. And I definitely needed it because I think I have a fever coming on. But it's okay. I'm going to take care of myself. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, then hello. Welcome to Minecraft Junk Drawer. This was kind of a weird episode for you to walk in on, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if this is not your first time seeing one of my videos, then please consider subscribing. It'd be super helpful. Let's let the people know that I exist. 
if you have any questions, critique, cries of shock, or ideas for builds or anything else I can do in the series, please let me know down in the comments below. And hopefully I will see you in the next episode of Minecraft Junk Drawer. Goodbye, all! Bye! I want to eat more soup. How do I, how do I get myself to eat more soup? I guess I'd have to take damage. I can make that happen. Hold on. Uh, let's just, uh... Yeah, sure, that works. Totally meant to do that. <laughs> I forgot how much damage you take from kinetic energy without armor. Well, what a way to end the episode. <laughs> I'm still not hungry. I don't think soup's gonna fix that. <laughs> oh, don't don't be like me. Please take care of yourself in Minecraft and IRL. Goodbye all.